In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the least used weapons per class in Battlefield 5. How bad can they actually be? I'll team the usage statistics with weapon statistics to give some sort of idea as to why people aren't using these weapons very much, but at the same time, you'll have to think back to previous patches. As you all know, DICE have chopped and changed the TTK in Battlefield 5 a lot, with two major changes coming at each turn of the year, basically Christmas 2018 and Christmas 2019. That means that a lot of weapons that were considered god guns at the start of the game's life were then nerfed and buffed and nerfed and so on. And you can see that with some of the stats that we'll go through in this video. Looking at the least popular weapons in Battlefield 5 is a very difficult task, and that is down to the statistics being difficult to find. Usually with a Battlefield game, and especially with Battlefield 1, you could access leaderboards that show the most used weapons per class alongside some other useful information, such as player numbers. We'd have a nice graph, and you could work out who was using what weapon at what point. With Battlefield 5, we can jump onto Battlefield Tracker and see a lot of very useful information, but it is slightly more difficult to compile that info. In order to make this a video that I could actually do within a reasonable time period, I've taken a slightly different approach. What I've done for every weapon is take the top 10 players for each and then put the numbers together. This provides a rank, not completely accurate, but pretty accurate as far as I'm aware, for each weapon and is generally in line with other stats such as time used with each weapon. It gives us an indication to which weapons are the most popular and which weapons are not. I've also looked at which player has the most time used with a single weapon, just for comparison's sake, so you can see which weapons certainly are not very popular in the game at all. In an ideal world, I would add up every single person who's used that weapon, thousands and thousands of numbers to come up with a top 10 list, but this in itself took three to four hours to do, and to do it that way would take weeks and weeks and I just simply don't have that time even during this lockdown phase due to this horrible virus that's going around. So let's get into it. As mentioned before, take into account that we've had some TTK changes, DLC weapons as well will obviously not have the numbers you'd expect as release weapons because they haven't been in the game for as long but you guys all know that and you can probably work out which weapons are going to be at the bottom of the list already if you've ever played Battlefield 5. So starting out with the Assault class. Just to give you an indication of which weapons at the top, it's of course the STG with nearly a million kills within those top 10 players and the leading kills at 124,000. Loads of people use the STG. At the start of the game, it's ridiculous and it's remained popular throughout. The least used weapon, according to these stats, is the M2 Carbine, but being a DLC weapon or a live service weapon, it hasn't been in the game for as long, so that's slightly unfair. The least used vanilla weapon is the Gewehr 43, with 322,000 kills compared to that million kills with the STG, so nowhere near as popular at all. Definitely the outlier when it comes to the vanilla weapons with 322,000 according to these stats. It is far lower than everything else, lower than the Mass 44, lower than the Ryby rolls, not very popular to be honest at all considering it was here with the release of the game. This is quite interesting, the Gewehr 43, come to think of it, it's a weapon that I've rarely used and the reason I haven't used it is because there are other weapons in the game that do a better job. So when the game first came out I remember I was using the Storm Gewehr 15, I was using the Gewehr 15, the M1A1 and the M1907 SF. I didn't actually use the STG very much, really. I used it in the beta, but then didn't touch it. After the first TTK change, I think I went to the AG M42 for a little bit. That was a weapon that dropped with the live service, and that is quite popular according to these stats. So, yes, the Gewehr 43 in that assault class is probably the least popular weapon in the game. As I said, loose statistics very difficult to be completely accurate but you'll probably agree with me here is it a weapon that you have used much there probably are some fans out there but i definitely don't die to it as much as some of the other weapons in that assault class moving down to the support class as we do this in a slightly weird order 
This one is slightly more interesting when it comes to the least used weapons, but with the most used, have a guess, what do you think it is? Yes, you're right, the Lewis gun. Everyone will have got that right, I'm pretty certain. Maybe some people went for the MG42. I think the Lewis gun, though, is going to be most people's choice. The player with the most kills has 112,000 kills in total, just with that one weapon, which is pretty insane. And the top 10 players compiled together 715,000. So less than the STG for the top 10, but still proving it's a very well-used weapon. The MG42 in terms of playtime is right up there as well, but in terms of kills, not quite as high. Potentially because of the sort of people that are using it and the sort of playstyle it requires, maybe you don't get as many kills as these run and gun players, quite possibly. When it comes to the least used weapons, Sure, it's going to be more live service DLC weapons. We've got the Type 97 MG and the Type 11 LMG right down there at the bottom with just 40,000 kills each when it comes to the top 10 players. Not great. Of course, the weapons haven't been out for as long. So unfair to label them as weapons that nobody likes, although they aren't great. Moving on to the weapons that came out with the game that have very low usage, it's the MG34 with far less than half the kills of the MG42. It's obviously a weapon that some people do use with quite a few kills, but it's just not the MG42. And if you want an MMG, most people settle for that MG42. Yes, it's been nerfed and buffed and had all sorts of stuff done to it. But if you're looking for an MMG, the MG42, historically, everyone wants to use it. It sounds great. It's got a massive magazine. It fires really quickly. It was just the perfect MMG to use for most people. Another interesting fact to take a look at is the FG42, a stat that I really wanted to get hold of, but I couldn't. I wanted to see how many people use the FG42, and then when that TTK hit in Christmas 2019, just the turn of the year, I wanted to see how the player numbers reacted with that weapon, because I reckon there was a massive dive bomb as that weapon became completely useless unless you were just really, really good at aiming. It was not a weapon that you wanted to use, really. It just took so many bullets to kill. I don't have access to that info though, but would have been a nice one to see. Moving on to the medic class again. Not really too surprising here. The most used weapon, as you've probably all guessed, just take a little time to think about it. What weapon do you die to the most? Remember, it's not gonna be a live service weapon, although it's not too far away. The Suomi KP-31. 146,000 kills for the top player and 850,000 kills shared between those top 10 players in the game. Absolutely incredible amount of kills. Still not quite up there with the STG, but very, very close for the top 10 players. When it comes to the least used weapons, we have the Commando Carbine and the M28. Both of those aren't used very much at all. Again, not exactly fair because they're live service weapons, but I think you'll all agree they're not that popular. The Jungle Carbine is by far and away the most popular of those three sort of rifles. When it comes to vanilla weapons that were released with the release of the game, it's the MP34 that comes in last place. It is the least popular SMG from release. Now, I think that's come down to a couple of facts. When the game first released, you were using the Suomi and you were using the Tommy gun, which again has a load of people using it. From there, you had a couple of people that liked the MP40. I think maybe the historical accuracy in the game wasn't ideal, so everyone jumped on board with any weapon they could to try and have a bit of that authenticity from the Second World War. The MP40 being a weapon everybody loved, the Sten gun being a weapon that people, a lot of people started with, so people went for that. Then you had the ZK-383 that came out with a early live service installment from DICE, and that is incredibly popular, nearly 700,000 kills with those top 10 players. That makes the ZK one of the most popular weapons in the class, despite it being a live service weapon, because it was just a great all-rounder through most of the TTK changes. As I said, least popular MP34 with 150,000 kills between those top 10 not many people use it, it's still not a great weapon, and that is going to be the least popular in that class. Taking into account that live service weapons won't have the same sort of popularity. Now on to the Scout class. Of course the Scout class isn't just bolt-action rifles, you also have 
your self-loading rifles and other things such as the anti-material rifles and then the pistol carbines. So we'll take all of that into consideration. The most used weapon is the Krag Jorgensen, 572,000 between those top 10 players. It's kind of up there with a few other weapons in the class, but it is by far and away, in my opinion, the most popular. The Gewehr M95, the Car 98K, both of which are very popular. The Lee Enfield doesn't quite see the same popularity, but again, is up there. They're all pretty popular. The Ross Rifle being far less popular with the Type 99. DLC weapons, not really fair to include them. When it comes to the self-loaded rifles, the ZH-29 is by far and away the most popular. Not as popular as the Krag in terms of those top 10 figures, but right up there. And when it comes to the least popular, well, it's the Panzerbuxer 39, being a live service weapon. Not very many people use it. And if we're looking at just the vanilla content and the least used out of the vanilla content, it's going to be the Model 8. That one is not very well used at all, which surprises me because it is actually a pretty decent weapon and has been for a long, long time if you are a player who can hold their position good accuracy you make your bullets count you know when to switch to your sidearm and you can reload cancel and plan well ahead of time it is a weapon that is incredibly rewarding to use not as easy to use as a zh29 but a good one so there we go that's the list if i was to pick a list of the least used vanilla weapons in the game it would be as follows the gewehr 43 the mg34 the mp34 and the model 8 they're the four least used weapons in the game that released in november 2018 when the game came out if we're to look at dlc weapons then you're going to have the m2 carbine you're going to have the type 97 MG, you're going to have the Commando Carbine, and you're going to have the Panzerbuxer 39. Eight weapons in total then. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe some of those weapons were on your list of least used weapons to die to. We also went through the most popular weapons, being the STG, the Lewis Gun, the Suomi, and the Krag Jorgensen. Probably not surprising there at all. Let me know what you think of this list down in the comments below. Do you think that there are a few weapons that I've potentially missed out? And is there a better way to compile these statistics? Have you got a better way to make a video like this? I'll be very interested to hear from you because I do want to make a few more videos looking at the stats in Battlefield 5, but kind of difficult to do so because it does make it so difficult to see the overall statistics. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike and I'll catch you in the next video.